We begin there with the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. And as we always do, we ask for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. <coughs> I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely. For my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar. He shall put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. And they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, 
nor shall you worship any alien god. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways. I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying, he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself, is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine if you started class and start off with a big question and somebody answered it right away, you go, Okay, well, that was it. Don't have to do anything else today. So, so, the, so the scribe that, that Jesus is talking to does understand the truth. When I was listening to the first reading, um, God says, I will be like the dew for Israel. And I'm thinking, uh, and God will be like two feet of snow for Denver. <laughs> so, but he gives all these images, and all of the images are things that Hosea, the people at Hosea's time, would have understood. Um, the, Leve, the cedars of Lebanon, the, the uh, olive tree, um, all of those different kinds of things are, are things that, that would have been part of their everyday life. Um, and I thought, well, I, I do have a great big huge evergreen outside my window, so I can imagine you know, God watering us like the, the big evergreen outside my window. And then I also thought about the, uh, the redwoods in California, which are just absolutely massive, and that God waters those. Um, and we can do use our own images of, of what we would prefer. Um, I would prefer a large uh, gardenia bush uh, outside my window too, but they don't grow up here. They grow down south, but they don't grow up here. So all of those different things are things that we remind ourselves are wonders of our own world that God gives us if we actually do what the Gospel reading says. If we follow the commandment, uh, we will see all of these things. Uh, they should blossom like the vine also. I thought, well, I almost know what that means because... Right as I got to the Novision in St. Louis, we still had a vineyard. Um, it used to be huge, but right as I got there, they were gradually phasing it out. So I never actually really saw uh, lots of grapes on the vine. But Southern Missouri does have a lot of vineyards, so I, I can go, okay, I know what that looks like. And it just lets us know that that's how God works in our lives, using all of the images in nature that are around us. So we bring our prayers before the Lord. I told one of the residents this afternoon at Windcrest that I would say this Mass for him. He's in hospice care. Uh, so this is for Hillary Hens, 
uh, that the Lord might be with him. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And any prayers you might have. Let's pray for all the students and uh, leaders and adults on K140 Kairos Retreat, that the Lord might be with them and guide them throughout this retreat. There might be a time of great grace and consolation for the retreatants. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Also, like to pray in a special way for our uh, school leadership that they might know God's grace and closeness uh, as they continue to lead the school. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who um, are experiencing any kind of illness um, or challenge right now. Um, pray for God's blessing on us as a, a nation, as a world, as we continue to negotiate this pandemic that we can stay vigilant and, and stay safe. And for those who need healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let's also pray for all those who might be negatively affected by this weather uh, coming our way, that the Lord might grant them whatever material <clears throat> things they need to be safe, and that those in hardship might know of his closeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Almighty God, we bring our prayers before you this evening. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> and pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> Look with favor, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of our hearts, that freed from disordered affections, we may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you with without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the full fill, fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Samuel our Bishop and all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we pray together the words that Jesus gave us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
and let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us to the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Are we doing Mass next week? Um, I'm planning on it. Yeah. Okay, so Mass all week? Yeah, I think so, for sure. Okay. I mean, we'll see what happens after Wednesday. Okay. It's only going to be you and me Wednesday on, so. Yeah, okay. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, we may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And go in peace. Thanks be to God.